Howdy there, folks. I'm Kosha Bacon. Welcome back to Rootin' Tootin' and Cowboy Shootin' Dead by the Lootin' I am Greetin' Teal. That joke is never getting old. I shaved. Heard some rumors in camp. Did off, off uh, you know. <sighs> Words. I, I can't even right now. I'm sorry. Uh, there was a letter that this lady over here wanted to see me. Apparently we know her. Maybe she's from the other game. And there's a rumor about something going on here. I had to pay off my bounty when I rode into Valentine. Where even are we? We were, uh, well, we're up over there. I was looking to do some hunting. And I found a, uh... Yeah, I found a bandit camp somewhere around here, and then I had to log off. But I killed the bandits and looted them, and they had nothing. I need to find a place to sell, like, all these watches and stuff that I keep getting. What is our objective for this here? I believe we're up to 11th episode? Let's look at the index. Hosea Matthews. Ooh, the Reverend. We could go for him. We need to go get ourselves some, uh, stuff. Done. Yeah. Let's go get some snake oil. <laughs> You're a good boy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <Down> there, <mister>. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> I was trying to say hi. Uh, let's get you looking nice. Yeah, right, let's go brush it. <clears throat> Why was that railing even there? All right, so yeah, we'll do like some hunting, maybe get some pelts on the way, but primarily we're gonna focus on that objective. Small lag spots, probably good. Probably. We'll see. Oh, the sun came out. Neat. I saw those red dots. Who goes there? Well, oh, they seem to have gone now. Thought I heard like a coyote or something. Mm. Maybe it was like a cougar or something. How are we looking at distance? Bit of a ways to go still. Go over to Dutch's thing there. But now we're gonna go over for the Reverend because that's another bounty for us. Not even a bounty. There's our carbine. Pretty poor quality, but we can probably get stuff Just from this. Give me a minute, boy. What? Because, yeah, we can probably carry quite a few of those uh, leathers. Back to what we were doing. I believe if we follow the tracks, we'll be good enough. Yeah, screw it. Let's keep right. Yeah. 
Oh, we are so gonna end up on the road. Now the pastor I was warned could be tricky. So we better be careful around here. I feel like the double barrel shotgun. This is good, this is good. Sorry there. You're walking a thin line. Reverend, where are you? Now oh, he'll probably be inside doing that thing reverends do. Come on. What's the hold up? Hello, mister. Not sure even a new tailor could help you. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat. Friend, I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Yeah, fine. Why not? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. All right, what are we playing? Blackjack? Poker? I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. Ah, uh, we're playing poker. Oh, this is gonna suck. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's <laughs> something like that. Can we play? Call, fold. Uh, he, he can't be called. no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. By combining the queen of the kingdom, there's a reasonable hand to bet with. <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. The it turn. is a game, after all, mister. Okay. This is a scare card. If another player has made a pair of aces, they will beat your opponents. You might consider betting low. What are the odds that one of them gentlemen has an ace? Hmm. Ah... Uh... Let's bet ten. Just a little. Jesus, you play like my grandmother. Hmm. So what is this five card poker? There's a final round of betting. Ooh. I got two tens and two queens. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. All in. in. All in. Bullshit. There. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Not looking good. Damn it. 
<laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. That was pretty low. Alright. <sighs> Let's go. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. He left a while Where's ago. He? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? Excuse me, gentlemen. Gotta go track him down. On the plus Reverend, side, we learned how to play poker. Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him. Smelt him and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Oh, no, he was. No <laughs> you lost your mind. Should have just lassoed him, tied him up. Hey, calm down. Hey, get your hands. Oh, I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. You want to go? Because I don't know how to do this, buddy. Ow. Gonna have to play defensive. I'll kill you both. I probably can't get him. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Good. Get the hell out of here. On a second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Tracks. Where the hell is he? Alright, I'm not entirely sure what I did there that worked, but at least if I can tell witnesses to piss off, that's good. Come on, my friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. It appears to like this place. It wants to stay. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, quick time event. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! Are you quite done trying to die? What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home. 
Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> Dang it. Alright. Fucking should rob him, I tell you. <sighs> a flush of diamonds. Boy. Ah, I'm sorry, boy. Yeah. It's an interesting mission, I'll give it that. Learned how to play poker, threaten witnesses, and save a guy off from a bitch. I don't know what the reverence problem is. Lost control of the horse for a minute there. Gotta go at it from the other side, because these are directional apparently, even though it's literally just a post. Hey, Butch. Dutch. I was wondering when he'd show up. Hey, John. Hi there. <sighs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <clears throat> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Hey, uh. <laughs> he who is without, without sin. Win two hands and return the Reverend to camp within two minutes and five seconds. I felt like we were pretty fast there, but. Ah, yeah. uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Hey. Alright, let's check a look at our missions. There's a Dutch mission over here, but that's probably going to be more, uh, you know, storyline. Hosea Matthews, Javier, Mary, and Thomas Downs. Wasn't that the guy I needed to go to then? Yeah, maybe. Let's take a look. We got time. And I feel like doing another story mission. Like, the free roam aspect of this game is pretty good, I gotta say. But you can also... Ooh, actually, it's probably time to get stew. Could probably also actually have a lot of fun with story mode. Just saying. Oh, it's pretty smoky here. Hi, Mr. Morgan. Probably just needs to sleep it off. Well, he looks like he's been up for days. Probably. Gentlemen, how are you, Mr. Morgan? You know, this ain't such a bad spot we got here, all things considered. Yes, yeah, not too bad at all. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Uncle. I was just you gonna remind me about we the thing. Sure lived in worse. All right, Mr. Morgan. All right, I can see, and y'all have stopped the conversation now that I've sat down here. I'll leave. I can tell when I'm not wanted. 
I guess I'll go kill another fucking deer or something for y'all, you ingrates. Or do it like a story mission or something. I imagine the whole camp is gonna die by the time we're done with this story. Bishkar, how you getting up? Alright, let's get out of here. Looking like it's getting towards the evening. Maybe nighttime. Might be able to get this mission done. Maybe. We'll see. It's close. pretty foggy so I'm still working over in my head the best way to do that robbery so far no real inspiration struck on how to do it single player other than try to go in at night maybe the game will give me a set of lockpicks I can use soon enough and I can try that Ah, huh, funny they say the exact same thing over on uh, GTA never change Rockstar never change Cut across, huh? Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, come here, you maggot! Please, sir, I'm. I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best. Where's the money? You are a slippery little bastard. I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. How's that debt looking now? <sighs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! That will end well. Freaking preachy reverend. I was warned he was going to be slippery. I didn't realize he'd be so slippery we got kind of railroaded into this cutscene here. And we're back.
Hi, Molly. Evening, Arthur. Mm, nice hair stress. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Hmm. Wait, really? That was it? Huh. <laughs> was that really it? Dang. What a mission game. Hmm. Damn, I wonder if we got time for another mission. Ah, uh, maybe. There's this woman north of, uh, town. Or actually, it's getting close to not. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play some blackjack. My bad, this is poker. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Hold still! Really? Pearson said he's sort of little meat for the pot. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't <laughs> Hi there. Oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you've got balls anyways. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, here and him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> Why, that'd be enough. Uncle. So that was messed up. Hmm. Anyway, so speaking of things that are messed up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Valentine. We're gonna try and rob. Evening, Arthur. Hey, Mary Beth. I thought they wanted to talk to me. Guess not. So we're gonna go take ourselves a little horse ride over to Valentine. We're gonna try robbery. Get that animal out of here. Just calm down. Oh, for fudge's sakes! I'm trying, my dude. Hey, no, fine. Yep. Here. Come on. Come on, pal. All right, let's get on over here. And yeah, we'll try and see how this robbery grows, and then we'll end the episode. Sounds good to me. Maybe get another deer pelt on the way. Keep running over rabbits and not collecting them to crime. Then again, their pelts would be pretty worthless. What a terrible place to try and set up camp down there. Right, let's see if the gun store is still open. That'll be our first stop if it is. Oh. 
not anticipating that. Oh, who can see me? Come on. Alright, that's my good karma for the day. Helping out a woman in need. To be fair, dude was definitely drunk and with a knife. And goodness, thank God we have a good health core. So our health is getting pretty low there. So here's the butcher. You best make your last purchases there. We're gonna sell. Yeah, pretty garbage, but mm. yeah. ain't no money in sloppy hunt. And they literally just closed. Which means, yep, everything closed down. That's a shame. interesting is that there doesn't appear to be a door there. There's a chest over there I can see. There's a door over there. I'm not sure where this shop connects to other than that door. No need for the mask right now. We're still scoping. What's our entry point? Are we trying to enter through here? Doesn't look like it. Does the game really? Oh. But that door has to go somewhere. Really, dude? You gonna stand there while a man's waiting outside? Is that, is that your blood or someone else's? Well, someone else has gotten a fist fight. Actually, it could be mine. Well, dang it, we gotta rob it in place. Excuse Easy me, partner. Man, partner. I'd like to know how he's tapping the keys when his fingers ain't anywhere close to it. I assume witchcraft. There were no accept options there. Eh, fudge, I got time. I have no clue how to play poker, guys. 
Okay, the aim of poker is to win the pot by having the best cards at the end of the day. By convincing players you have the best hand, so they draw a pot. Each hand is dealt to come. It's the whole cards and are kept secret from the other players. Over several rounds, shared cards are dealt to the center of the table. These can be seen by anyone known as the community cards. The player can always fold, forfeiting all interest in the pot. A player who folds cannot wager any further chips during the current poker hammer and cannot win that hand. The player puts all their chips in the pot. This is known as all in. They will not be able to take any further action during the hand, but they can still win at the end. If the player doesn't have enough chips to call the current bet, they can still go all in. In this case, they will only be eligible for the portion of the pot they can match, as they have placed less chips than the other players. The rest of the pot will be contested by the players who bet the full amount. You can use the auto bet to reset the action you want to take. Hold up and the action you would like to take before. You can cancel that action anytime before. Note that the conditions change that your preset your auto bet will be canceled automatically. You can set and unset an auto bet as many times as you want. Oh, there's a lot. The first bet I fell over and got it. Steals the pot. If only one hand player remains before you. Oh my goodness, there's so many rules! <laughs> Alright, hold on. After each hand, there's a round of betting. Players take turns to play as a fan of the The others must match, call. If they don't want to match the bet, they must drop out, fold, losing any chance to win the pot. After bang rounds are complete, the players reveal their cards in a showdown, and the player at the best hand wins the pot. Or if only one player remains, then they win the pot without having to reveal the cards. Two players to the left of the dealer must put in a mandatory bet each, called a small blind and a big blind. The dealer then puts two whole cards in the present. During a betting round, the players take turns clockwise around the table, and the player's turn, they must at least match the bet the previous thing. On a player's turn, there are five false questions. Check, bet, call, raise, and fold. If no bet has been made, a player can choose to check or bet. A check is equivalent to betting zero and passes the action. Okay. You can remain in the game and reserve the right to call or raise later. Following the turn around, check or bet, the round is considered complete. If no one ha bet has been made, a player may bet. If a player bets, subsequent players must at least match this amount to remain in hand. You could bet more. If there's been a bet in the current round, the player may call. To call the player... To call, the player matches the current bet made by his or her opponents. Okay, what does calling actually do, though? Is that different from just betting the same amount? May raise. Okay, so calling is matching, betting is just a normal bet. So the first person bets, then everyone's either calling or raising or folding. What's checking, then? A check is when you do nothing. But you can only check at the beginning. Okay, I think I get that now. The player can always fold. All in. He's putting all in. Auto bet. Betting rounds. The first betting rounds known as the pre-flop. I fell blinds. It was continues until pawn. Okay, three community cards are then dealt known as the flop. Another betting round known as the turn. Another betting round takes place. The fifth community card known as the river. A final betting round takes place. Showdown. <laughs> Taking the best five card combination of their home cards and community cards, each player takes a hand ranking, for example, a pair. See the hand rankings column for a full list. If several players share the best hand ranking, the main cards and their five cards are taken into account. These are known as the kicker. If one of the players has a better kick than the other, they win the pot, even after all team. Several players may still share the best ranking hand. The pot will be split between them. If a player doesn't want to reveal their cards at children, they can muck. This simply forfeits without revealing the hand. When playing against an experienced player, this helps prevent them from learning your style and being able to predict your decisions. While players but one fold before reaching the showdown, the main player stone the pot and wins all the chips. If a player has gone all in during the course of the hand and so placed less chips in the pot than the other eligible players, this creates a side pot. You can only win the thing. If you win, blah, blah, blah. The all in players are not the other eligible, but main pot is side pot. Some players go on, and this can create several side pots. Okay. So the strongest to weakest is a royal flush. An ace can. All of the same suit. Okay. Straight flush. Five cards in sequence, all of the same suit. Four of a kind. And one side card or a kicker. Full house. Three cards of the same rank and two cards of different matching rank. So, three sixes and two threes in this case. Okay. Flush, five cards, all of the same. Suit. Okay. Straight is five cards of sequence of different suits. So, in this case, that would be a royal flush if they were all of the same thing, but they're not. Okay, three of a kind, two pair. Two twos, one pair. Any card that doesn't qualify in your category, list above. All right. That was a lot of rules. Apologies, guys. This is where I'm probably going to have to end the episode after this thing. Hope I don't lose much.
missiles will tear my hide. Alright, what do I got? A two and a six, but they're both diamonds. Two, three, four, five, six could work. I have six high. Uh, I'll bet 20. Oh, he's folded. Okay. It's just me and him then. Ooh, that's not great. Raise for sure. I can fold or I can call it. Not looking great. I'm thinking I should fold. Nah. <sighs> okay. Nice little turn right there. Yeah, there was no good way to spin that. That was just terrible cards. It, it could have been decent if we gotten more spades. Oh, okay, so we just go around the table then? Now, this is finally getting fun. That one could bluff past old Scratch yourself. A queen and a two. I say it's mm. a bluff. You're holding some real fine cards. Not me. Right, he folded, he called, he raised. Uh, I'll call. I got a queen. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. Queen of Clubs and Jack of Clubs is pretty good. Uh, five, two, hmm. Yeah, I'll... Uh, how about that? Some bluff you're trying. All right, they're all staying in. Ooh, an Ace of Diamonds. I have a pair of twos. And there's a pair of queens on the table, or does that not work there? Yeah. You know what? I go first here. I'm going to check. I'll raise. Eh, fine. I'll, I'll call it. Hmm. I have a pair of twos. I'm a play slow. Yeah, okay. Boring. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Check these out. These ain't gonna do. I got very little. Yeah. Oh, hell. Woof. Hot damn, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, we're. It's a three bucks. <laughs> We're betting so little. This is a low stakes table. I don't mind playing for a bit. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to see if I can win once more. Friend, you must be pleased. Okay. I like good, clean gambling. This is actually pretty fun, I gotta say. I'm not much of a poker guy, but I get it. Mm. Alright, a 10 and 3. I'll match. Okay. Check. He's checking, huh? Hmm. I got nothing, so... I got ten high, apparently. Ten high isn't good, though. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But what the hell. Is it daytime already? What the hell? Hmm. Yeah, I'll call it. Hmm. I got a good feeling about this, guys. I'm awesome at gambling. God damn it, I'm terrible at gambling. I have a pair of threes. <laughs> That's such a terrible thing. I should fold. Check. See how you like this one. Relax. Relax. Take it easy. Well, hell. Dude, fold it, huh? All right, fine. Uh. Pair of threes. So we meet again at play. These are the end for you, oh, fellas. Shit. <laughs> Guess you're in a good spot. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh. Shit. 
Pleasure playing with you, fellas. So, you here to drink or what? That's a big bit of luck. Howdy, friend. Can I play at the piano? Give me another drink. Before I sit right here in the bar. I tell what, hey there, back in the day, you know. Mm. Wouldn't merely pass his door. Let's hurry up to the part where I win. We didn't care. Funny how I had you. Yeah, I didn't really get any good hands back there. Hey, Doc. Welcome back. Thank you. Free to browse. Let's just see what you got. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll buy that. Probably shouldn't have sold that one, but eh, what are the odds I'm actually going to use it? Now, is there a guy in town who buys the jewelry? Hey, that oh. area ain't for you. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Mind if I browse your wares for a minute and consider this? All right, hmm. let's just keep things nice and friendly. How to do this? I could put on the mask and rob him. Is there a way for me to knock him out? The sheriff is right fucking there, is the issue. I got the guns for it. <laughs> Can I, can I step on the scale? Does that work? What, is that a fish tank? Hmm. The fact that he was so nervous, you know, that really says something to me. Chewing tobacco. Hmm. Cocaine gun. I'd wager that I am the best stock doctor in all New Hanover. Hmm. No reason for you to be over here. Get back to the rest of the shop. I'm sorry, partner. Is there a way to do this quiet? I don't want to kill this guy. At the same time. Stay nice, and we'll get along just fine. Uh, uh, let me check your catalog. <laughs> Can I run over there and punch him? I, I feel like that wouldn't work. Run over there, slap on my mask. Let me have a look. So it sells out of stuff I'm already full of, huh? I had Bob Crawford from Carmody Dell in yesterday complaining about his back again. So right. The regiment up at Fort Wallace is run by a feather called Colonel Fabers. Not a big oh, yeah? fan of the Indian by all accounts. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we're going to have to go through the side door, I think. Right. I'll be back in a minute. I need to go... Buy Thanks. some ammo. Yeah, welcome. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm looking to browse. Let me see what's available. Looking for ammo. Specifically that pistol ammo that we need. It's designed for our revolvers. Because we don't actually do pistols. We got plenty of repeater cartridges, funny enough. Rifle cartridges, shotgun shells, arrows. Yeah, we're pretty good at arrows. Could go for some poker. Perhaps you could join me later in Smithfield. I might just do that. I've become quite addicted to that. Uh, my good man, sir, you are about to make quite a few sales. High velocity. Good, good.
Okay, uh, so he told me a man of the clergy joined a poker game down a flat neck station. So drunk, he could hardly play. Mm. His hand won, though. Hello, Sheriff. Good morning. That's how it's going to be. Good morning, Phil. Howdy, Sheriff. Hey, y'all. You all, you all have any more bounties in there? Well, ain't this a pleasant surprise? Yeah, shut your trap. Now I'm just checking to see if there's a price on someone's head, but honestly, it was always like, oh hey, this one's 25 bucks alive. A lot of work. I suspect there's quite a lot in that them there thing. So here's how we're gonna do this. Hey boy. Girl, boy, you gonna stay. We'll need a pack light just in case. And yeah. Hello. Ain't you a sweet boy? Well, hey, Doc. That was quick. Oh, yeah. My friend, never mind. So, how the fudge are you meant to rob this joint? Can't even get through back there. I might have actually had the wrong idea. Come here. Hey, boy. So, I don't think I can do this, guys. I don't think there is a way to do it. I think I'm going to sit here and pet this dog and think about my life choices, and I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy.